What's going on? It's trending story. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more well informed, make sure to subscribe and active the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. A rescued pit bull mix that was photographed staring sadly at a wall is now heading to a shelter and hopefully a forever home. Animal control officers picked up the pup named March from a porch back in Philadelphia alleyway on March 6th and took him to Animal Care and Control Team, ATZT, Philly. Pet owners like to think, no, they're certain that their pets love them. We anthropomorphize them and consider them their children, calling them fur babies and such. But we know deep down that they aren't human children. One thing out of the hundreds that separate the two that our real human children probably wouldn't eat our faces after we die. There may be a couple of exceptions, though. Usually, when we think of pets mauling their owner's body, we think of exotic pets like tigers and lions and bears. Oh, my. We've all heard of these horror stories, like the time that Roy Horn of Siegfried and Roy got attacked on stage by a white tiger. There was also the case of the poor woman who had her face chewed off by a chimpanzee. But it turns out that our domesticated pets also have a taste for our flesh. Dogs descended from wolves, who are natural-born scavengers. Dogs were domesticated around 10,000 years ago. It's believed that dogs started hanging around human settlements and scavenging the waste that was left by our ancestors. These ancient humans saw this as a beneficiary trait and let the less aggressive dogs hang around and began breeding them. But their instincts to scavenge haven't fully disappeared. But it's also reasonable to assume that dogs, not being fed in over a week, had no choice but to feed on the remains of their owners even humans who have been forced to eat other humans in times of desperate starvation. What's even more bizarre is that indoor scavenging didn't follow the typical pattern for scavenging in the wild. In the wild, canines will go for the internal organs first by tearing through the torso. They only go for the limbs after the torso is consumed and rarely go for the head. However, the 2015 study showed that indoor scavenging cases, 73% involve bites to the face and only 15% of the cases had bites to the abdomen. Thanks to some heartbreaking photos, March, a pit bull mix, is receiving hundreds of adoption inquiries from families wanting to give him a forever home. I was hoping it would get him a little more exposure, but I had no idea it would go viral, said Dovin Collins of ACCT, Philly Animal Control Agency in Philadelphia. It was amazing to see the outpouring and to see the number of people that cared about March and other animals like him. With all the crazy things going on in the world, it gave me some hope in humanity. An image of a melancholy rescue dog who spent hours hunched over and facing a kennel wall has gone viral and ultimately helped raise hundreds of dollars to help him find a home. March, a sweet pit bull mix, staying with the animal care and control team of Philadelphia, was destined to be adopted by a kind and loving family, but at the last minute was rejected the opportunity to live in a happy home. A dog who got frustrated after thinking he'd found a family to take care of him now lives desolate, just looking at a wall. March is a dog that's always been very happy in the animal shelter in which he lived. He played, jumped, and wagged his tail for people who approached. But after an adoption attempt did not work, the pit bull, who had already left the shelter to live in the new home, changed completely. He began to lose hope after returning to the shelter in Philadelphia. Almost no one was interested in adopting him so the animal ended up being saddened. ACCT Philly is a high intake shelter that's forced to euthanize rescue animals after a certain period of time if they're not adopted. March was nearing the end of his stay at the shelter when his bid to be saved fell through. Hate to see any pup so sad and depressed. March is at ACCT Philly and needs rescuing. The days following March's disappointing rejection, the light behind his once bright eyes began to draw closed and distant. Caretakers would find him curled in a fetal position in the corners of the room each time they entered. He shuddered when individuals would open his kennel to play with him. The once energetic pup turned depressed and sick at the feeling of being unwanted and unloved. Local news personality Don Timoney, an avid dog lover, caught word of March's story and took to social media to raise awareness of this sweet dog's depression. His story quickly went viral in local and national news sources, letting the nation hear about the reality of dog depression. But after his return to the kennel, he seemed sad and depressed, and then caught a cold which added to his lethargy, according to officials. 
Dorman, he says in recent weeks, the dog has started bouncing back to his usual self. On Monday, ACCT Shelter said it was getting ready to have March sent to a no-kill rescue facility where officials hope he'll be rescued and adopted into a new home. A fund has been set up by people who want to help March get placed in a home. At last check, almost $1,000 was raised. ACCT Philly is contracted by the City of Philadelphia for animal control services. Because of its high animal intake, it's not a no-kill facility. Dormany says she hopes that March's story about the funds raised will help rescue animals be placed in loving homes. Dormany says he'll no doubt make a great pet. He likes cuddling and belly rubs, she said. He's a mellow, friendly guy. Lucky for March, a sweet soul caught word and decided to help the dog find happiness once again. A local rescue team called to pick March up from the shelter later that afternoon. March's energy and love for life was returned once surrounded by loving caregivers. All thanks to a kind soul that recognized the signs of depression and decided to take action. Do you ever wonder if your own dog suffers from acute symptoms of depression? If you do, look for the following signs in your furry friend. When your dog experiences a traumatic experience or a rush of sadness, their interest in food will decrease or increase significantly. Pay attention to see if your pet experiences a noticeable change in appetite as a signal of emotional imbalance. It's normal for dogs to sleep a lot. They tend to catch up on their sleep while no one is home to play with them. If your pet continues to snooze even when you're home or doesn't pay attention to you, something's likely upsetting them. If your dog suddenly loses interest in playing catch, gnawing on their favorite toy, going for walks around the neighborhood, or avoids doing things they once loved, check for signs for emotional turbulence. If your dog runs away from you, hides in a closet, or stays under the kitchen table for hours at a time, this typically indicates your pup has an illness or injury. A puppy that constantly licks his paws or forearms is exhibiting signs of physiological or psychological issues. Excessive licking is used by depressed dogs to self-soothe and comfort in times of distress. Your furry friend may not be able to tell you when there's something wrong, but there's a significant signs that owners can recognize. If you see these signs, you can take steps to help your pup feel joy once again. Both Dormany and Colin said they hope March's story inspires the rescue of the 50 other animals who are currently in their care. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.